What's going on YouTube? Dos RC back at you with a quick little video. So I just want to go over the uh, XRT and show you guys what I'm running as far as electronics now. Um, I was gonna do an install video on all this, but just didn't have the time to record it all for you guys. But nonetheless, here it is, the uh, Traxxas XRT running the uh, XLX2 ESC with the 1100 KV Cocan motor. So I decided to go with the Vitavon motor mount. So looks pretty sick. So right now I'm running a 46 uh, Power Hobby Spur and a 29 tooth pinion. We got the Vitavon diff cover, small uh, diff cover back there. RC Guy Garage mongrel mount. I got the uh, Vitavon um, gear cover coming as well so we can uh, cover those gears up and we got the Vitavon ESC mount this ESC mount you can mount uh, all kinds of ESCs on it as long as they have mounting holes on the bottom and if they don't have mounting holes you can uh, put a like some kind of plastic or carbon fiber carbon fiber plate on this and then uh, do the uh, 3M tape, double-sided sticky tape to that plate if you wanted to go that route. But the, uh, the XLX is uh, mounted directly onto the mount. I thought I had to make a plate for it because at first it looked like the uh, screw holes weren't going to line up, but they actually do. So the Vitavon uh, ESC mount mounts over your stock uh, receiver box location. So with what I uh, ended up doing is getting this Traxxas um, receiver box. And it's just uh, being held in place with uh, double-sided uh, 3M tape. It's not gonna go anywhere, it, and, and, you know, it's not heavy. So got my receiver in there, running a Spectrum receiver. It's hooked up to my uh, DX5 Pro. Um, censored, there's a sensor cable. So I'll get you guys this part number from Traxxas. If I still have it, hold on one second. I'll check in a minute if I still have it. And then we have the, uh, the Vitavon steering brace, upper steering brace here. We have the Vitavon uh, servo adapter and servo horn link assembly down there. We're running a perfect pass monster servo. There's a shot from the other side. So I'm digging the way it looks. I think it looks pretty sick. It looks beast. And that ESC and that motor, they're not going anywhere. Um, we got the uh, Hot Racing uh, bladderless emotion style shock caps. Uh, I forget what these are called. And then the purchase at the bottom. I had to get two sets because it only comes uh, in a set of two. So to do all four, you need to buy two sets. So there it is. There's my uh, Beast XRT. Um, let me see if I can find that part number for you guys for this receiver box. It fits in here uh, 
perfect in between the ESC and the motor. If you guys want to do this uh, modification with this parts, motor mount and the ESC mount, you're going to need uh, that receiver box. Now, Vidavon does sell a receiver box. It's made out of all aluminum. It's, uh, and the way he designed it is so that you can mount it on these two uh, screw holes right here. So it would sit right here. You know, your wires and your receiver uh, go in there. But that was like another 30 or $35. And I just went with this, which was, I think, 8 or 10 bucks or something like that. And it works just fine. So, uh, I also got this modification on here. We got the uh, these Arma steel links. And we also got the C-hubs from Bitabon. I also got the diff covers coming for the front right here and for the rear. And also, we also got this skid plate. And um, eventually, I'll get the upper bulkhead for the front and probably the rear because I already broke this piece here. You see that metal coming out? This is, uh, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> It's normal for this truck, I guess, um, with all the leverage, the weight of the arms, because they're longer than an X-Max, you end up breaking these uh, tabs off. And then the arm has a little bit of play on it now. It'll still run fine and everything, but I don't know. We'll see if we get the uh, upper rear front bulkheads for that. But let me look for that part number for you. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So I found that part number for you guys. It's uh, for the receiver box. It's the Traxxas part number 3628. All right. So that's going to do it for this video. Just want to show you guys the install on this. Didn't really have any issues uh, at all was a uh, plug and play bolt on and go um the only thing is with the motor mount you have to attach it to the motor with everything outside of the truck first because this plate you can't you can't slide the motor in once the uh motor mount itself is is locked into the truck so you need to attach the motor to the motor plate and the motor mount outside of the truck and then you can you know throw it on there and put your pinion and tighten up your set your mesh and tighten up your uh, mesh bolts right here this is how you set your mesh on this side there's one on the other side there's also a carbon fiber piece that comes with this Sorry about that noise, that's the uh, furnace going off. Uh, came with this carbon fiber plate so that you can run uh, 40 millimeter fans on, uh, on here. I use the big turbo fans that I make myself. I'll show you what those look like. right here so I make these myself um, so in order for me to run these on top of the motor I'm gonna have to cut uh, the backside of the body so that it can clear it because the body sits so low but if I decide to run them I'm gonna run it without the fans first see how hot it gets uh, I programmed it to uh, on the castle link to shut off at uh, temperature shut off motor temperature shut off of I think I went 180 
So once it gets to 180, the ESC will shut the power off to the motor. Um, if it does hit thermal on me, then I'll throw the fans on. The other day when I ran it um, with this gearing, uh, I was only drawing, the ESC was only drawing 250 amps. So I know it's got a lot more in it, so I can gear it up if I want. But to be honest, with this gearing, it's already uh, wild. And if I gear it up more, um, I have a feeling that I might end up breaking drive shafts or dry cups because this, this motor has a lot of torque. Um, so I'm gonna run it like this with this gearing for a little bit. If I feel like I need more speed, this gearing should give me um, 60 miles an hour. I haven't checked it. I need to get a GPS to check it, but um, it should definitely be like close to 60, if not more with this gearing. Um, but anyways, if I feel that the, the motor, or if I, if I hit thermal on the motor, then I'll throw the fans on there. But for now, I'm gonna run it uh, without fans, see how it goes. Because the truck is all plastic, it's a very light truck. It's heavier now because of all the upgrades, but it's a light truck compared to the Creighton 8S sitting over there. That's a beast. Um, so that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Those of you that are subscribing, I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Um, and everybody else that's watching, you guys are awesome too. But I would appreciate if you guys subscribe. So yeah, that's going to do it. You guys have a great day. I got to get ready and go to work. So, those are see out.